Hey YouTube, this is my update video for the Booktubeathon. The Booktubeathon, if you didn't already know, was from July 15th to July 21st. And during this seven day period, there were a series of challenges that you could participate in if you chose to. I tried to, but I did not complete all of them. No. So I'll let you know which challenges I completed what books I read and how many pages I ended up reading because I'm happy with my results even though I didn't read as much as I know a lot of other people did or just as much as I kind of had planned to with my TBR to begin with and this was mainly because I ended up working from Monday to Friday from 8 to 4.30 or even later so by the time I got home I didn't have a whole lot of time to read and then Life just gets in the way. So here are the first challenge is to read 300 pages per day. This I did not accomplish. <laughs> but I'll go through the rest of the challenges and what books I read and you'll see how close I got to that. So the second challenge was to read a book with over 500 pages. So this is what took the bulk of my time because I ended up reading and finishing Magic by Andrew Sage. And this book has 564 pages plus there's 16 bonus pages at the back so that's 580 pages altogether. I ended up reading this book over days 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that kind of ranged between one day I read five pages to, at most, I read 127 pages in one day. So it took me a while. <laughs> but it's done, so check mark to challenge number two. Challenge number three was to reread a book. So for that, I ended up completing that one as well with A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle. Now this book I read over days 6 and 7, and it has 211 pages. Then, the fourth challenge is to reach, to finish a series or trilogy. Now my plan was to read The Reckoning by um, Kelly Armstrong, but I didn't get a chance to even start this book. I did, however, start... Um, Rapture by Lauren Kate as an audiobook, listening to 179 pages out of the 448 pages of that book. So had I finished that one, it would have also completed this challenge, but I'm still working on it, so I didn't quite get that one. On to challenge number five. That is to read a book that's been on your bookshelf the longest. So technically, I would have considered A Wrinkle in Time as the book that's been on my shelf the longest, but since I'm pretty sure this challenge also stipulated that it had to be one you hadn't read yet, I had then chosen to read um, A Wind in the Door, also by Madeline Langle. I didn't get to this one, so I didn't complete that challenge either. But I'm still hoping to read this one as that is why I did the reread so that then I can continue on with this series. Then for challenge number six is listen to an audiobook. So for this I started and finished The Hunt by Andrew Fukuda. And so that book, The Hunt, has 304 pages and I read it over or listened to it over days one, two, three, and four. Then I also picked up another audiobook, which is called Seriously I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. And I read this or listened to it over page days five and six, and it had 241 pages. I really love this one. Then the seventh challenge is to read a classic. And for that, I counted yet again A Wrinkle in Time, which is a children's classic, but a classic nonetheless. 
So that is completing that challenge as well. Check. So the bonus was how many challenges could you combine? So with that, I combined two challenges, rereading a book and reading a classic with A Wrinkle in Time. And I could also include it as the on my bookshelf the longest, but maybe I won't count it this time around. Now on day seven, I had finished up A Wrinkle in Time and most of my other books, and I was just listening to Rapture on my audiobook, or on my iPod, so it kind of felt like I wanted to get into another book, but not one that would take me forever to read. So I decided to go with a manga. Why not? So I read um, Death Note number two, and this is called Confluence, by Sugumi Oba. This is an audio, or <laughs> this is a graphic novel, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if it, if I liked it as much as maybe the first one, because it didn't seem like a lot happened in this book, but it was okay. <laughs> so for that was another 197 pages, and I read that just over day seven. And those were the five books that I read and completed, the three challenges that I completed, and overall I read 1,711 pages, which was shy of my 2,100 page goal to read 300 pages a day, but I'm happy with how I went. So, I hope to hear about how you did on the Booktubeathon if you participated, and if not, just what you're reading now. Also, let me know if you'd like to see any reviews for these books, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. I also have reviews up for most of these, or will soon, on Goodreads. Um, also, you can see, if you follow my Twitter, you can see some of the comments I made as I was reading during the book two with on. So have a great day. Bye guys.